Hey everybody, I'm Chris Wook. Blue might be a familiar name if you've been shopping for microphones, but they've only just released their first pair of headphones in the last few months. The Blue MoFis offer a built-in audiophile quality amp, but is that just a gimmick? Let's take a look. Unlike most wired headphones, there is quite a bit packed into this box. Open it up and you'll find the headphones and a heavy-duty bag. Everything else is packed inside that bag. A short cable with mic and remote, a longer cable without mic and remote, a charger and USB cable, an airplane adapter, 3.5 millimeter adapter, and finally, the manual. The Blue MoFi headphones buck the current trend of coming in every color under the sun. The model we're looking at in this review is the only color choice available. The color choice isn't the only difference about the MoFi's either. Unlike the unibody plastic builds of many popular headphones, these go for a more mechanical, neo-industrial look. The headphones don't just look different, they work different too. Unlike the standard sliding mechanic for adjusting the length of the ear cups, these are hinged on each side, so adjusting the length also adjusts the angle of the arms. You can adjust how tight the headphones are by turning a wheel located in the middle of the upper headband. While all that looks nice, it also results in the headphones being fairly heavy. It's not to the point that they're unbearably uncomfortable, but you'll be very aware that you're wearing a substantial piece of gear on your head. The extra weight also makes for a solid feeling build, but it's tough to say whether the benefits are worth the downside. As mentioned at the top of the review, these headphones come with two different cables. The shorter cable includes a mic and remote and is obviously meant for use with mobile devices. The remote is iOS compatible, though like many similar remote, the middle button still works with Android devices. The longer cable is meant for home and studio use and doesn't include any extra frills. This is the third pair of headphones we've reviewed in a row that includes a proprietary cable. In this case, it isn't locking, but instead elongated on the end to reach inside the ear cup that it connects to. It's also 2.5 millimeters on the end that connects the headphones, making it even harder to replace. We're sure that a generic cable could work as a replacement, but this is still disappointing to see. It may be odd seeing a battery life section in a review for a wired pair of headphones, but the integrated amp in the Blue Mofis obviously requires power. These headphones can be used without any power, however. Keeping the switch in the off position, these work exactly like any other passive pair of headphones. Blue claims 12 hours of playtime for the Mofi headphones. In our testing, we got around 10 hours, but this did include leaving the headphones powered on for quite some time when we weren't using them. Charge time is around three to four hours, and with the included charger, we found charge time to be closer to three hours. These headphones have a total of three modes. With the switch in the off position, the headphones work exactly like passive headphones. With the switch in the on mode, the amp is powered on, while the on plus setting also engages an analog bass boost circuit. With the switch in on mode, the headphones produce very even bass response. No frequencies seem exaggerated, but they aren't lacking either. Putting the switch into on plus mode, the sound is much better suited for fans of bass heavy music, though it doesn't have the same boomy, overcooked sound that many bass focused headphones produce. The mids are rich and thick sounding without becoming overly heavy. Piano sounded great while guitars sounded powerful with just the right amount of bite. The highs are soft sounding yet very detailed. Cymbals never became overly harsh and high end detail was never lost in the mix. With the amp powered on, soundstage was excellent. If you're using your own amp, it's probably higher quality than the integrated amp, but it's worth trying out anyway. These sound great, there's no doubt about that, but the size and weight make them hard to recommend. If you're just going to be wearing these around your house or at your desk, then they might be worth a look, but they're just a little much for most people. We're giving the Blue MoFis a 7.8 out of 10. And that's all we've got for this one. Do you like some more detail? Then head over to our website to check out the full review. You can find a link down in the description. Did you like the video? Let us know. And hey, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Chris Wook. Thanks for watching.